guys. And welcome to another episode of Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. This one's going to be interesting. Yes. Um, we've received a box. A mystery box. We're going to open it for you, <laughs> actually, at the table. Yes. We know the box is from a company called Angelus Direct. Mm -hmm. And what they do is they provide acrylic paints for painting leather. Yes. So it's mainly for people that like to customize sneakers and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, there's lots and lots of really awesome artists on TikTok that actually take sneakers and then kind of like redesign them. They're really, really awesome. Yeah. Um, there's some really awesome people out there doing some superbly like creative things. Well, Angelus Direct actually provided Cole's color. Yes. Some paints. And then they saw us on his channel, and then that's how they kind of came to us. So they are acrylics. Yeah, they are So they absolutely paint. can be used in the same way that we do. But one thing I'm really excited or interested to see is, like, the consistency. Yeah. And how they interact with other paints. Yeah, absolutely. Because we have no clue. So we're going to open this box with you directly on the table. You're going to see this firsthand with us, and then we'll decide what we're going to do with it. Yeah. Exciting. I'm I'm excited. Let's do this. I'm a little scared. Um, okay, guys. So um, yeah, nothing else to tell you other than Angelus Direct will be linked somewhere down at the bottom. Um, if you are a person that likes to go and kind of like paint leather, paint shoes, whatever it is, then do consider using these guys. Um, we're gonna have a lot of fun with their paints. Yeah. Let's get to the table. Let's get opening that box. Let's do it. All right. Let's do it. Oh my God, you guys. Let me guess, are you excited? I'm excited about this. Well, surprise, su call me surprised. I know, I know, I know. What have you, why have you got a box in front of your show pony? Well, this is from Angelus Direct. Um, it's somebody that Cole, you know, has worked with before from Cole's Color. Right. And they sent us a mystery box of paint <laughs> that we are going to get to open up uh, and show you guys what they sent us. We have no idea what's going on with this. It is, in fact, a mystery. Yes. Um, so. Right, go for it. All right, I'm excited. I'm going to well, go for this. Whilst you open that, let me tell everyone a little bit about Angelus or Angelus. I'm so sorry if we've gotten this pronunciation wrong. Yeah. Um, I'll flash up the details on the screen for anyone that's interested. Interested. But Angelus Direct actually have acrylic paints, but they are for leather specifically. So how they promote their paints is that you can customize sneakers and stuff with them. Oh, really? Yeah. So that's actually what they, the, how their website is all set up. People use them to actually kind of color and make and paint on sneakers. So it's actually leather paint, but it is mm. still acrylic. It looks so amazing. We're going to use it and see what it says. Read the card. Yeah, it says, Jeremy and Lee, cannot wait to see what you guys come up with. Tried to select a good variation of colors. Love the piping bag technique from Angelus or Angelus. They love the, well, at least my technique has already been decided. Yes, your technique <laughs> has been decided. They have requested. Oh, look at that, it's so pretty. They have I requested know. and then I will do it. So I'm gonna do a piping bag. Yes, I'm so. going to take this out. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. What's it, what have we got? Um, okay, so first of all, we have so let me move that to one lilac. Side. Yes, we have lilac. You want to lie it down on the table so that it can stay there? Yeah, can you? Sure. Can they see that one at home? Yes, I believe Let's they can. Let's move that paper out of the way. Lovely. All right, we have blue. We have hot pink. Oh my God, I know you're going to love this one. Oh, I know. Tangerine. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, you guys, I'm in love. Um, we have navy blue, which I, I'm going to love. Mint, another color I'm, I like. Taupe. Taupe. We have black, we have white, and we have midnight green, which, oh, I really love this midnight green, you guys. Oh, and look what they sent us as well. Like a, I know, a they sent us a little array of makeup brushes. I mean, paint brushes. <laughs> so you can put your eyeshadow on, show pony. When no, you go, these are great. These are really goth. These are really nice paint brushes. They are. Well, I'm guessing, so listen, as I said, this is sneaker paint, a leather yeah. paint. Yeah. So the reason why they've sent us the paint brushes is because clearly people will use them to paint the sneakers. Yeah. There's some really awesome people out there on TikTok that are doing just that and like yeah, do this wonderful, stuff. wonderful stuff. But they do know clearly that we are not going to be painting sneakers. In fact, we're going to use this acrylic paint. I know. In a pour. I know. Now my technique has clearly been chosen for me. Yes because I am going to do a piping bag because that's what they've asked for. Oh, and it says here, family owned since 1907. Oh my gosh. Over a hundred years worth of business. That's wow. amazing. But um, looking at that color palette, Showpony, what are you thinking? 
Oh, jeez. Now, clearly, um, I'm going to say this, you don't need to use every single one of those colors, but... Oh, yeah, but I have I have something in mind already. What like, is it? What are you going to do? I think I might do a, a leaky cup. Ah. Yes. We have not used the leaky cup for a little while. No, we have not. Um, okay, I, I really love that, because I see some very florally... Yes. Like, there's almost, there's a lot of pastel-y colors in there as well. Um, there's not a lot of bright colors, so I think that would work really well in a leaky cup. Yeah, I think so. Mm. I'm digging this navy blue, mint, um, tangerine, midnight green. Even the pinks. Yeah, the hot pink looks really pretty too. I think that'll work good in that. Now we are going to mix these with our pouring mediums. Yes. Because I don't, until we open it up, we don't really we know don't how know the consistency. thin or thick yeah. it is. Um, if it's if it's not the right consistency, we'll probably, we absolutely will put it with Floetrol, probably put some Liquitex Gloss Medium in there as yeah. well. But um, let's get mixing up some colors for you, Show Pony, and we'll let's do it. see what happens. Thank you so much to the guys at I know. Handless Direct for sending yes. this little goodie bag. I love these little like, I like I know, miniature these are gallons. So cute. Yeah, they're really cute. Yeah, these are adorable. These Let's colors are wonderful. This navy blue and this midnight green, I'm in love. Especially the tangerine. Of course you're doing. All right, <laughs> let's let's get these mixed up, show pony. All right, let's do it. Well, hello, ladles and jelly spoons. <laughs> Welcome back to the table, because you've been here yes. once before. All right, so I'm gonna show you the colors that I have chosen to use in this what was actually requested by the guys. I had no idea that they were gonna tell me what to do. I love it. I'm gonna do the piping bag. So I've got the hot pink. Beautiful. I've got the tour. I've got the lilac. Mm. I've got minty green. I love it. Navy blue. Love it. Tangerine. Love. And I got blue. So those are the colors that I've got. I've got to say to you that if you go and look on their website, they have some really, really awesome colors. Like colors that we don't get in just the normal brands of acrylic paint. So what have we done to these paints? Well, I'll tell you. I have got in this pot some Liquitex Gloss Medium. Uh -huh. I've got the leather acrylic paint. And then I've used Mix. So the reason why I use mix specifically in this pour is because this paint is very thin. Mm. It's like a fluid acrylic paint. Mm -hmm. Super, super, super highly pigmented, but it is actually very, very thin. The only way that I could get it to a consistency that I really needed, and you can even see in here that it is still very runny, was to use mix. You can get mix by emailing krista8947 at gmail.com. I think that's it. I think that's what it is. Um, I will flash it up on the screen right here for you. But Krista is the person to go and get mix from. But if you can see, this is definitely not leaving any mounds on here at all. This has two ounces of gloss medium, six ounces of the acrylic paint, and then the rest is actually the mix pour. There's no flow troll in this cup whatsoever. So I'm really interested to see how this works on a ribbon, because I've never done a ribbon pour using mix before. In fact, I'm just really excited to see what happens with this one full stop, because yeah. these are colors we've never used, it's a medium we've never used, but hell, we're gonna go for it. Yeah. This is a 60 ounce or a two quart mixing tub, and inside of it, you've got a piping bag. Now, we first premiered our piping bag on the 11 Pipers Piping. Yes. It was a pour that we did on behalf of Sarah Mack a while ago. And we then asked you guys to name it and you guys named it the Massey Snip and Pour. Yep. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna snip this bag and then pour it onto the canvas, ribbon styly. So I think I'm going to actually layer my colors first, Show Pony, and then sure. I'm gonna cover my canvas. Okay. So this is a 16 by 20 inch gallery wrapped. It was a pour that we did we didn't hate this pour. I think there's actually some interest in this pour, but we're gonna pour over it and see if we can get something cuter. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm gonna layer my pot right here, actually, Show Pony. Okay. So I'm gonna layer it for these guys at home right here. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna just think real quickly about how I'm gonna layer my colors. When I've done this before, I've kind of kissed the colors together in the bag. Yeah. I'm gonna do the same thing. Um, I'm gonna start off with some of the lilac and some of the blue. So just pouring the colors evenly down both sides of the bag, just like that. And then we're gonna dirty pour the layers on top. Next, I'm gonna go in with the tangerine and the mint, but I'm gonna pour in the opposite sides. So as if I went, if you went for imagine I went east and west, I'm now going north and south. Yes. Um, let's do this navy and this top. Love that. 
And then let's go in with some hot pink and lilac. And I'm gonna finish off with a little bit more of the blue in the top if I can get it in here. Oh my gosh. Now I might end up having to pipe this one twice, we will see. Um, normally what happens with a piping bag and a rim pour, it just comes flooding out. But yeah. we're gonna play around with this one. Show Pony, I might lift this up and, and add some more paint in, but we'll, we'll get to that in a second. The next thing I do want to do is put a base coat down on this canvas. Now this is a base coat and this is a pot of many, 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 many colors. Drippings for days. Drippings for days. It's, it's kind of almost like a very dark purple. Mm. There's definitely some purple, purple tones to this. Yeah, absolutely. But it's also very shiny because there's metallic paints in here. Um, it's almost like the darkest kind of purple you can get. But I'm covering this with a base coat. It's a base coat because it's going to cover all the canvas first. Because what I want to do is allow those ribbon pour colours that come out of the bag to slide all over this canvas. So I'm going to cover this one first. All right, now here's my piping bag, and it is full, full, full. So I'm going to um, ask for the show pony's help so that I can then ribbon pour this one onto the canvas. So he's gonna snip this one for me, show pony. Could you snip it right there? I am. But make sure that it doesn't fall onto the canvas, please. Ready? Yeah. It's, there's a lot of pressure okay. on it. I got it. Do you want All it bigger? Right. No, that's perfect. Okay. All right, so I have been snipped. And I've got this whole piping bag full of these wonderful I know. colors. I'm gonna go diagonal with this one. That is my plan. Okay. And I do like this base coat, so if I leave some negative space, I'm not gonna be mad about it either. But these colors will come rushing out of here as soon as I release this pressure. Yes. So let's get to it. Let's do it. Are you ready, Chevroni? I am. So there's clearly a lot of blue here. Mm. I don't know whether that blue just took over everything. I can definitely see some of the orange, and as I just torched it off, some of the other colors are coming up from underneath. But Show Pony had an idea, and I'm not mad about it. I've actually got little paper pots of some of the other colors that we put into the bag, and I'm going to ribbon pour some of the other colors just directly on top, mm. just to bring some of those colors up as well. So this is the hot pink. This is the top. Lilac. I really like that lilac. I think it's really pretty. Some of the minty green. and then just a tiny bit of the really dark blue. All right. 
So now, show pony. It is tilting time. It's tilting time. Let's tilt this rip and pour out. Mm -hmm. Well, there you have it. Okay, so observations. I absolutely loved adding in the extra colour. Mm -hmm. Jeremy was a great piece of advice. I needed it, otherwise it would have just been all been very blue. The paint moved just like the normal acrylics that we're used to, for sure. Maybe it didn't open up quite as much as a normal acrylic, but I think that was just because of the size of the hole in the snip. Yeah. In, in the piping bag. Um, kind of played around a little bit with how the lines were moving, but really, really loved actually just keeping these lines very thin rather than trying to stretch them and open them up anymore. So um, I'm absolutely gonna leave this the way it is. I'm excited to see how it dries. Me too, I was thinking the same thing. Because it's gonna be really interesting to see how those colors do dry on this canvas. Yeah. We're not gonna be able to show you this today, but what we will absolutely do is make sure that we show you this as soon as it physically does dry. Yeah. But I'm gonna take you guys in for a close-up. I'm going to get my edges and then I'm gonna take you guys in for a close-up. Thank you everyone. Hey guys, it's Jeremy here and I'm super excited about today's pour. Of course you are. I have not done one of these in forever and I'm really excited to be bringing the leaky cup back. Yeah, yes. Awesome. And the out. leaky cup. Yes. You can get these at massyartstudio.com. Perfect. Yes. Um, and uh, the leaky cup is just great. I can't wait to see what's going to, the design's going to come out with these paints. Yeah, I'm interested with this one too. I think the consistency of this paint is perfect. For the I do paint. too. I yeah. do too. And I really love so, these colors. I'm going to sit here and like play with this for a second and see if I can get this like towards the middle. You want it as central as you can, right? I think that's but good. Don't, I, my advice to you, sir, is you're looking at the canvas, not the camera, because the camera is distorted because it's not straight down. So whatever, have, just make sure it's centered on the camera. I think that's pretty good. Okay, perfect. Okay guys, so I have some really great colors lined up. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna start with the lilac. Okay. So let's see here. So you're, you've got on there the base coat color, which is the same Oh color. yeah, yeah, I had flooded my canvas before like doing anything. Okay. Yeah, I did that off camera. But here we go. Pour a little bit of paint here. Okay, however you see fit. Well, uh, you know, more is more. But I wanted it to be even coming out, and it is. Okay. Now the beauty about the Massey Art Studios leaky cup is there's a little nubbin right in the bottom. Yep, right so there. If you want it to be even, all you need to do is just pull right on that little central kind of nubbin, and it's going to push that paint right out the sides for you. Sure is. Or you can just do it like Jeremy. 
baby dolls and just pour I it do. Into I pour it. I pour it all the way around. So you do whatever you want to. I like. I. I just do it however I see feel. Absolutely. However I see feel. Yeah, exactly. However I feel like doing. There are no rules as far as Jeremy is concerned in art. I am loving what's happening. I think I need to go in with the hot pink next. Hot pink. Now Jeremy doesn't have all the same colors that I have. He has a selection of colors that he just chose for himself. And the carrot's hmm. tripping out the cup. It's being really interesting. I feel like you might need some more dark colors in there, but I don't know what's gonna happen when you spin this one out. I know. I'm gonna turn it this away because it seems like it's a little. I leveled it. You did level it. I saw you level it. I witnessed the leveling. You did. I did. All right. So let's see here. Um, let's go with some mint green. I think there's enough paint on here. Okay. All right. Yeah. So what, what, in terms of usage of the leaky cup, when you are done at this point, what do you do next? Well, uh, you can blow in here and push to push some of the paint out. So you're just making sure that there's nothing left in that cup, correct? Yes. All right, so blow okay. away. There. I saw some drip out, so it's perfect. Yeah. And then next, the plan is? To lift this up. There's and take a towel for you, sir. Yeah. You're just going straight up, right? Straight up. It's stuck. Oop. There we go. Ha! Ah, look at the bubble. Watch. Is it gonna pop? I don't know. Oh, you might have to pop it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna take a little bit of paper towel mm -hmm. and I'm going to ball it up like this. Now this technique is called. This is the Fiona uh, touch. It is. It's so named for our dear friend Fiona from Fiona's right. Art, who is out in Slovenia. And um, what she does is exactly this, to pull the paint back yes. into the middle of her 3D flowers. Yes, made. which is absolutely just... All right, sir. Now, let me remind you of a time not that long ago where you decided <laughs> to spin out a leaky cup. <laughs> and you'd been going to the gym and all for a while. <laughs> and what happened with the strength of 10 men? Do you remember? It went everywhere. Yeah, 95% of your composition ended up on, on the floor. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I'm only reminding you that, yes. that muscles here, muscles McGee, just be a little bit careful with your spin. Yes, I'm going to be a little bit careful with the spin. All right. All right. But so, I'm excited to see what happens. Oh, wow. Oh, holy moly, that's so pretty. It's really pretty, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm, like, I'm really excited. So I, I think that here we've got a culmination of a few things. Yes. One of them is that we use mix solely as the pouring medium. Mm -hmm. That always makes anything that you do very super transparent. Yeah. But I also think that these colors, because they are made for leather, they're not necess they're not in an acrylic paint for pouring like we do. They're just interacting differently. They're mixing differently. But yeah. It's very ghost-like. It is. I really like that. I love it. I think it's really incredible. I know why you love it. Well, it's, it's a lot of orange. orange. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, it is really interesting. I really like it. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to take you in for a close up here, get my edges, yeah. all that kind of good stuff. Let's do it. And uh, yeah. I'm excited to see this one dry. Me too. So there you have it, folks. There you have it. All right, now we've opened the box. Let's talk about this. Yeah. Um, talk consistency to me, Show Pony. Straight out of those little jugs, what was it like? A little thin, okay. to be honest. But... How would you compare it to... What would you compare it to? Ooh, like... Um, well, it's thicker than a Dutch pour consistency. Right. So... it's For me, it's kind of like a fluid paint yeah. that you can buy. Or yeah. maybe even... A slightly thinner than a ready to pour paint. Yes. Um, but because of that, we then had to thicken it. Yes. So we mixed it with Liquitex Gloss Medium and mixed like you heard, and then we got that kind of nice consistency that we would use that definitely was not as thick as what we would use for ring pours, was thicker than we would use for Dutch pours. Yes. So somewhere in between. Now, you pulled out the old leaky copy. I did. We have not I used this for months. I know. We're still selling these bad boys. Um, they come, we get orders pretty much every day, every week. <laughs> uh, I think we've actually now sold over 500 of them, which yes. is pretty awesome. Um, but tell me about your leaky cup pour. I loved it. I loved how it gave it that ghostly look on the top. I didn't put any white in there and that lilac really lightened up some of those colors. And so they were kind of coming up from the from underneath it and it just made this like nice moody kind of like sultry. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was a little worried at one point. It was looking was. very lilac, but as soon as yeah. you spun it out, and I know why you love this so much because it's pure tangerine, <laughs> all that orange and even some of the pinks were coming through. Yeah. And there's a little flex of mint in there too. Yeah, yeah I, I didn't expect that composition. I think the mixed pour had something to do with that too. Yeah. Um, my ribbon pour, as you saw, before I put the extra bands of color down, it was very deep blue. Mm -hmm. That deep blue in the piping bag took over everything else, other than maybe the tangerine. Yeah. Because that did start to poke <laughs> through a little at the end and we were a little worried it was going a little muddy, but it didn't. Um, but I really enjoyed Show Pony's idea of actually adding some extra ribbons in there. Which turned out beautiful. I love this. It's very simple, um, but I, I very much like geometric designs yeah. and, and I like lines and crisp lines. All my tattoos have some kind of geometrics in them. Yeah. I loved it. I thought it was really interesting and I liked keeping the lines very thin. Thank you so much for the guys, <laughs> Angelus yes. or Angelus Direct, for sending us through this little goodie box I of know. beautiful, beautiful colors. Yes. And if you go to their website, I think they have something like 130 colors. Oh so my God. So you can get more colors of their acrylic paints than you can of, you know, like Artezas or Liquitexes, for example. Yeah. So worthwhile just having a look. We don't have these dry. No, not yet. But it's going to be really interesting to see what happens as they do. I know. Because I feel like they're going to dry matte. But I added gloss medium. I wonder if they can dry darker though. Ah, interesting. We will find out, but you will yes. find out with us. If you come back to us on pouring the tea with Massey on Friday, we'll probably have them ready to show you. Yes. That is the plan. Now you've also been asking to see the big 36 by 36. It's been about between 91 and 95 degrees here in Texas. <laughs> which I'm sweating right now. <laughs> but which is, you would think, well, that's great. Why aren't things drying? Well, it's also super humid. So yeah. there's no, there's lots of moisture in the air and things are taking a week 
to yeah. dry. So as soon as that piece is ready for us to pick it up, yes. without it dripping or, or slipping, then we'll show you that piece too. Yeah. We promise we'll show you them very soon. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Uh, we love you being here. We appreciate you following us. We ask absolutely nothing of you other than if you are new here, please subscribe. If you can, hit that like button. And if you feel so fit, sharing to your social medias just allows us to keep growing the channel. Exactly. We're here for your pouring pleasure. So um, please, any help that you can give and anything else that you do for us is a bonus. But those are the only things that we ask. Thank you for being here. We'll see you on Friday for pouring the tea with Massey. Yeah. And um, we've got some really interesting stuff to talk to you about. So we will see you then. Have a great week, everyone. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. And now to spank the Patreons. Yes, let's spank the Patreons. Let's do it. Who are the Patreons? Well, the Massey Posse, we like to call <laughs> them, are a group of people that have signed up to patreon.com. And on our Patreonage, you have the opportunity to get levels and perks for different things. Yes. So at one level, you might get a sneak peek behind the scenes video or some footage. At another level, you'll be invited to monthly off the YouTube channel live streams. And at a separate level, you might also get once a month tutorials. Yes. So it's a really fun opportunity for people just to have a completely different view of Massey Art Studios. Mm -hmm. So we have some people to thank. Yes. At our gold level, we have Elizabeth Galano, Gillian Kennedy, we have Gloria Salaki and Jane Klein, we have Janice Swansea and Kelly Stowell, we have Kirsten Blackley, we have Linda Seriani, we have Mary Doulas or Mama Doulas, Mama Doulas, Patsy Petrelli and Rebecca Hawes Winters, we have Sharon Luffy and Stephanie Hancock, we've got Tammy Housebrook, we've got Terry Leshner. And we've got Trisha West. Yes. Then in our platinum level, we have Elaine Burton, Janice Pittman. And Steve. And Steve. We have Susan Chigori and Susan Shepperson. Susan Shepperson. Yes. And at our diamond level, at from diamond one you level. all know and love, yes. it's Sparkles. Sparkles. So thank you so very much to those guys and everyone else that's here down below, our bronze and silver Patreons too. We really yeah. appreciate you. We really appreciate you wanting to be here with us and support us through this wonderful journey of art. Honestly, we really can't thank you enough, so thank you so very much.